So today I want to share with you a method that I developed for myself uh, because I suck at playing all instruments, but I do own a lot of instruments and I've been collecting instruments for probably 20 years now. Um, and I wanted to use these instruments in my compositions, but I, as I said, I sucked at playing them. So uh, the method that I've developed is how I started using my instruments in my own compositions. And now it has become a huge part of the way I compose music. And I really hope that it will encourage you to use the instruments that you own in your own compositions. So here it is. Let's check it out. So what I have laid in here is five instruments. Uh, these are gonna correspond to five random instruments that we are going to record. I also have a Dio's Majestica, Arcs Patch Strings, and Zebra Gravitas Patch, nice bass. Okay, so let's pick our first instrument. I just got this 100 year old mandolin at an antique shop and it's horribly out of tune, but it doesn't really matter. So let's do this. So let's find another note on this that would work with our first one. I guess this one is kind of in the same key. Alright, instrument three, a one dollar flute. I don't, I don't know if you can see the price tag. All right, third instrument, fourth instrument. Let's use this 100-year-old Celestophone that I also got at an antique shop. I'm just going to pick the part that's the most in time. All right, fifth instrument. This is a... Uh, very cheap African Kora that I got also at an antique shop and I used some leftover petrified wood as the makeshift bridge. Let's use it. So I went for a walk today and I found this seed pod under a tree. I don't know what species of tree it is but a zero dollar instrument. So I decided to add it into the track that I did yesterday. Now here comes the fun part when we start adding chords to our ostinato. Now the only thing I'm gonna do is copy the bass notes into all right, so let's check out what we have. <laughs> 